I'm not aware of anything in the marketplace that allows us to adhere so closely to those mechanical objectives. And that certainly has to be one of the reasons why I'm so excited about the potential of the General Wave procedure. So it's helping you achieve just down to the very basics of what endodontics is. It's allowing us to keep the original anatomy of the tooth. And now we have to go further because we're keeping the shape smaller, more conservative, less invasive. Now we have to have a great way to obturate it or fill it. Really, really important. And we're right on the verge of having that development released to us. That's exciting. It is exciting. It's exciting if you're into endo. <laughs> if you're not into endo, it may be not so exciting, but it's exciting for me because I love being an endodontist. One of the things that you talked about in your presentation was your first gentle wave case. Can you tell our viewers about that? My first gentle wave case was actually on the sister of one of my best dental assistants. So we got her permission to do this procedure for her. She needed a root canal. We were looking for, quote, a volunteer. We were also looking for somebody that uh, could benefit from having a root canal done. So we chose my dental assistant's sister. And that first procedure, you have to give up a little bit of control. And the reason you have to give up a little bit of a control is because you place the gentle wave procedure instrument on the tooth on top of a little wafer, if you will, and then you're covering up the system where we've always been able to look inside the tooth and mechanically irrigate and disinfect or what we thought we were doing and we could see it. But now this procedural instrument's on top of the tooth and we can no longer see it. So you have to, you have to trust it and you have to give up a little element of control. And whenever you deviate from the norm, whenever you deviate and get out of your comfort zone, there's always a little trepidation on your part. It's like, a little scary. Whoa, a little bit scary. No matter how comfortable you are, there's a little bit scary. Some of us deal with that better than others, but when you start deviating from your standard protocol, there's always a little bit of caution. There's always a little bit of tiptoeing. So, but it, it goes on smoothie and it's uneventful and it's, it's great. The patients are comfortable. Probably the, the most difficult thing is to, it's not difficult, but time-consuming thing is you're sitting there and you're holding that instrument for eight minutes and I don't leave my patient. I'm going to hold it. Well, one of the things you talked about was the willingness to accept change. You know, I think one of the most dangerous things you can say in any profession is, well, I'm just doing this because that's the way it's always been done. Do you think that this new change will be something that will be accepted quickly or will there be challenges? Whenever we create change, there's always folks that resist that change. I think by, I think human nature causes us to be more resistant to change, but I think that as we step out of our comfort zone and incorporate the change, we're gonna be more adept at changing in the future. All of us realize how fast in today's world things are changing, and they are changing faster than we can. It's exponential time of change. That's true. And there's lots of things that have brought about that change. So we have, meaning the specialty of endodontics, we've accepted microscopes, which was a huge change. We've accepted cone beam, which was a huge change. I feel like this is some fundamental change of our thinking, and we need to quit thinking about shaping the entire root canal system with files and figure out there are other ways to debride and disinfect the root canal system that maybe don't involve files. So I think we're on the verge of a major change and a major paradigm shift in our thinking. I don't think that it's gonna come across easily. I think that the guard will resist it just like anything else, and it's okay. It's okay that they're not gonna embrace it, but with time, it, in my opinion, will be accepted as maybe it is better. And we've got the research to show that it's better. So just a matter of time, in my opinion. Well, it really sounds like this system is taking the endo world by storm. I mean, just speaking with various clinicians here at the AAE meeting, everybody's loving it. And patients are loving it, too. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what really matters. What are your patients saying about it? 
I've got great patients. 99% of them are wonderful. I've got a great staff. I live in a beautiful part of the country. Our patients kind of mimic how we behave. If we're excited about things, they're excited. We see captured anatomy on our images when we're done, our digital images, chair side, as soon as we're done with the procedure. We've always been excited about that, but we're now in hyper mode excitement because we're seeing more anatomy than we have in the past. My assistant and I are high-fiving high each other. My patient is high-fiving. They know they got something better. And then the proof in the pudding. Anecdotally, I swear my patients are more comfortable afterwards. And I think it's because they got a cleaner root canal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, it's so great to hear. I have so many other questions for you. Uh, we could probably talk all day, but I will let you get back to it. Thank you so much for talking to us today. My pleasure.